do you think it would be like, do you ever think about like how different it would be if you were on now? Cause at least 50% of the show now is really social media. Like you see what happens on the TV and then what makes the news is these Twitter fights, these Instagram fights, like, right? ever- I know, you know what, honestly, I'm so grateful that I'm not on the show with this much social media. I have to tell you, like, I think that's really tough and it's hard not to get involved in it because when someone's talking, you know, crap about you, you want to respond, you know, and you want to like go back and fight. And, and I'm one of those girls that like you push, push, push. And then finally I'm like, okay, you know, gloves are off, let's go. Um, and then what's hard about that is then everybody else gets involved in the opinions. And then, you know, you have the 97,000 blogs that post about it and then they all have their take and, yeah, I mean, I gotta say, I'm kind of relieved. I'm relieved for two things. I'm relieved that I'm not on it during social media and I'm relieved I'd never had children while I was on the show. <laughs> that would be a whole different uh-huh. level. Yeah. What about, cause you say there's bad, like what's like one of the worst things that well, you remember? Well, I mean, I hate even bringing it up cause I hate even giving it any energy, but you know, I mean, the women accused me of having a, a affair on Jeff while I was sick in the hospital. And, you know, I ended up in court with that guy for eight years and I won, thankfully. And I have, you know, charges against him for stalking and harassing and lying and interference with, you know, um, contractual relations and all the things that he did to try and destroy my reputation and my life. Um, So, yeah, I would definitely say that was one of the worst things to come out of it. It cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars, um, you know, just to defend my good name and my integrity. So that was that really sucked (laughs) for sure. 